Some people say the Psalms is related to the year. Psalm 120 is supposedly the year 2020. So let's see what it says here and see if it kind of relates. In my distress I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. And whoa, this year has been full of deceitful tongues, big time. What shall be given unto thee? Or what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongue, like in falsy, falsy? Sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of juniper. Woe is me that I sojourn in Meshach, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. My soul hath longed for him that hateth peace, has long dwelt with him that hateth peace. I am for peace. But when I speak, they are for war. Boy, and isn't Donald Trump the one trying to bring all the soldiers back and this and that and everybody else is saying no, 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 and all the lies and all the deceit and this and that and that and this? I should say so. So let's see if 121 has any parallels to this year that we're starting. I will lift up I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. So we stand on the left hand of the Father as Jesus Christ stands on the right hand. You understand that, people? We are on the left hand of the Father. The sun, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Woe, and the last. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even evermore. Woe, woe. That sounds like a catastrophe. A total catastrophe is coming upon this world. A judgment? Is that what it's predicting? A judgment? Maybe you should go read that, those two psalms for yourself and understand whether it is what you need to understand. Your own interpretation, not mine. And I did not try to put any interpretation on that. So you all take care. And if I was you, I'd read Psalm 119 for 2019. It's the longest psalm in all the psalms because it highlights the alphabet of the Jews. Why he did that in 2019, and then 2020, and now 2021, where he's going to keep us forever? Ouch. I'll say ouch again. <laughs>